Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you a quick homeschool haul that we got from the thrift store over this past weekend. We went to a thrift store that's over uh, about 30 minutes away from me. Um, we got this whole bag of blue sticks. It was $1.91 and there are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Looks like about 13 glue sticks. And this one, this one was half off. So it was, I think it was the, was this one half off? I think this one was the uh, pink and yellow was half off. So this was a dollar, like a dollar fifty. And it has some popsicle sticks in different colors. A glue bottle and three more glue sticks. And... These pipe planters were a dollar ninety one, which I'm sure I could have just got them from the dollar store for a dollar. But yeah. move, son. And we got this. It's called a peel stick and move. Um, a calendar. It's three different pieces. Wall pops. What is it? Safer walls, personalized with monogram or Greek letters. I haven't opened it yet, but it looks like it's a calendar. Uh. Let me see. A calendar, a weekly schedule. Let me see. That says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, notes and things. Okay, yeah. So that seems to be a a weekly schedule, a monthly, and then a blank one that say notes and things. And it comes with a dry erase marker. And it has the letter focus. Okay, well, we're not going to focus. There we go. Oh, here we go. Weekly planner, message board, monthly calendar, alphabet, Greek letter sheet, and dry erase. And this was only 99 cents. They had two of them. I don't know why I didn't get both of them. I just got the one. And I really like this one because their books are 30 are only 33 cents. So I got I'm missing a book. Where's my other book? Oh, here it is. So I got these three reader reading type books for my kids. This one is reading for, I got this one. Ashley is using this one now and we're going through this. It's a level 1.2. She's, uh, she read through the story real easily. So, um, I'm going to move on. We're going to skip to further back in the back. She's in third grade, but since we've been homeschooling, I'm starting them out like at the beginning so I can see exactly where they are. And this one, I guess, is just a regular school book. This one we are using with Andre, and it does not have a grade or anything on it. It just says G, so I really don't know what that is. I don't know if this, I don't know. Um, it's just called Adventures. I don't know anything about it. Like, nothing. Uh, the copyright was 1989, and that's about all I know. So, this is the story that he, well, let's get there. This might be like a second grade-ish, middle or second grade, maybe. Um, he read through it pretty good. Um, he had a couple of stumbles. And so these were the reading and writing connection, and then it's followed by a poetry page. So... This is his. Um, we're going to take his pretty slow. Um, and I did have them read. Once they read, they had to answer the questions that were in the back. Ooh, was that a frog? Um, frog and Toad story that I just put there? Yes, y'all love Frog and Toad stories. I can't wait to read this about Frog and Toad. So this is what this is. I think I'm going to look this up a little bit more to see what level it's on to see what grade level but I think it's probably a second middle second grade um yeah middle second grade thing because the, the words are not hard but they're not like first grade like nocturnal accident well, you know what I mean. so that's that one and this one story was one reading mastery two but I'm not sure what I don't know what grade that means, so. So, let's just see. I don't see. And I have to look. Can you move your vacuum cleaner? Move. 
So, this right here says story one, and it's just a picture. Story two, and it's just this one page. Three, just a picture. Four. So, I have no clue what this is. But, um, I'm going to have them just read this sporadically. Um, like this is story 43, Water Goes in the Game. When is the picture before? Well, no, because this one's also talking about a game. Water Goes to to the big game. Walter wanted to play football. I don't know. Maybe you read something today and the picture has something to do with it. Because that's story 42. Oh, so it does. That's story 42 as well. So that picture goes with that. 43, 43. And that goes with it as well. Okay. This book must be all about Walter. So yeah, this is just a book to read to pass the time, little stories. So yeah, so them was, of course they were three, four dollars. So I got them three as a bundle, and then I got these three. Uppercase alphabet. These are for Lolo and Ashley, cause they handwriting. Well, Lolo handwriting sucks. That's that. Or maybe I'll give a couple pages to Aaron to do. But it's grade P. This one is a cursive writing, grades three and four. They're doing a little bit of cursive, a little bit of cursive writing now. So yeah, but once it gets back here to the back, you have to write sentences like the environment in which a species live is its habitat and i guess you write the whole sentence over in cursive along with the word and that ecosystem dogs and this one was 33 cent as well even though it said 75 cent they changed their prices so yeah that was 33 cent this one multiplication. um we're giving this to lolo because he's getting ready to come up on multiplication real soon so yeah, this one is going to be for him. This one is just for their art. It's just a big drawing pad. That was 33 cents. And the boys wanted these Barney books, so we picked these up. This one, boots and books and clothes. Books of clothes. I ain't never seen Barney wear clothes, but yeah. So that's that. And this one is a paint with water. I don't know how to use this book, honestly. But yeah, it was thirty-three cents. It was. It came out for a dollar thirty-nine. I guess. You want Barney? Okay. You want your Barney too, don't you? No, that's Andrews. He's mad because he has to share. And this is big box. It was like covered like this, and it was two eighty. So yeah, this one was two eighty, and when I looked at it, I thought it was actually construction paper. Then I peeked in, and I was like, okay, it's all construction paper. So I just grabbed it, and I didn't care because we need, you know, construction paper. But then when I got home and I started ripping the box down, I seen that it was full of folders, and these are the long legal, colorful. Oh, I'm gonna do this with one hand. Um, colorful file folders. So this is going to be fun once we start doing our, um, we got some lap books coming up and these are long and legal, the legal size. So these are going to hold, you got Barney. So these are going to hold a whole lot more than like the regular one. So yeah, we have plenty, plenty, plenty of file folders now. And it's green, blue, orange, red, and yellow. So one, two, three, four, five colors. 
And there were also these Barney. Barney. I know I seen Barney. Yeah. It's one, two, three, four. It was actually five legal pads. I've already took one out and started using it. And they look like they're probably all the way full. Um, some long manila envelopes. You showing everybody your Barney? Thank you. Some manila envelopes. And are these cardboard? These are these feel different. Oh well, these are pocket ones. And you can open it up and stand them up. But these are the legal size as well. So they can put their papers in here and I don't know. But yeah, nice healthy stack of this. So like I said, this box was two eighty and I did pay full price for this. It was not half off. So yeah, but this is everything we got in home school thrift store. Thank you. This is everything we got in our homeschool thrift store haul. So uh if you would like more of these videos, just make sure you thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and we will see you in another video. Thanks for watching the broke homeschoolers. These bodies come out. Oh,